Welcome, one and all, to the mystical world of Felbar. Adventures abound throughout this realm, and we appreciate the opportunity to regale you with some stories from these trails. These accounts are all based on actual RPG experiences that occurred within Adventures in Felbar. Some of these tales may be for mature audiences, while others may be for very immature audiences. We now present the sage Mikas Tumo from Tamel, also known as as the Bard of Felbar. Welcome to Session, Fartook, the prequel. Hello, and welcome to the Bard's podcast, the Fartook edition. If you are new to our podcast, welcome, we're glad to have you. If you have followed our adventures before, we hope you will enjoy this one as much as the Session Denali episodes. This series of podcasts begins on the continent of Pangaea in the country of Fartook. City-states are ruled by mages that have formed a loose alliance for military purposes. Our brave heroes have never adventured, but they each have dreams of greatness. We begin by identifying the initial members of the group. Cabe Silvertongue is a half-elf, and he is a practicing bard. He is quite personable and tries to impress people with his musical skill. Sadly for Cabe, his skills are not yet fully developed. He is seeking stories from the trail to enhance his storytelling ability. He is proficient with some arms, but would rather use his charisma to get him out of trouble if he can. He has suffered from racial bias all his life and hopes that he can find understanding in the big city of Phoenix. Fargus Stoutheart, the Ranger. He is a human and has grown up in the wilderness of Farto. He wants to become a great hero and realizes that he will need to find an adventuring party to help him achieve his dreams. He is headed to Phoenix in the hopes to locate a group of like-minded individuals. He is a larger man, standing over six feet tall and weighing in more than 210 pounds. His bulk, along with his strength, makes him a dangerous fighter. He also likes to drink ale. The pious member of the group is Sister Elaine. She worships Dilo, the common deity for the country. With her training complete, her vow of silence has been lifted. She is a gregarious individual in the right company and can express her religious views in a rather fervent manner. While she is of average size, her ability to handle a mace is quite remarkable. If she has a weakness, it is for the ceremonial libations. Another female is the full-blooded elven mage named Lady Irena. As is custom with her people, she has been sent out to the world for a year to experience what life has to offer. She is not happy with the separation from her people and can be quite narrow-minded. Irena is skilled in the magical arts and has recently been released from her studies. Welby O'Toole is the final member of the initial group. A halfling rogue, this party member has a tendency to get into trouble quickly. Risk-taking is ingrained in his heritage, and he is quite confident. Having just had his birthday of independence, he is now free to travel the world and suck the nectar of life. Together, this group of young people are about to embark on a journey that none of them will ever forget. Pleasure, pain, rewards, and despair all await this unlikely group. We close out this episode now and give you our thanks for listening. Please subscribe to this podcast and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at The Bards Podcast. For everyone in Adventures of Philbar, thanks for listening.